can thank John Bellino for that steezy front seven. What up? It's Buzzcoat Brand here. Welcome back to Blading News, your number one rollerblading news show. And yep, it's that time of year again. The Blading Cup is happening, the biggest event in blading, and there's so much to tell you about. So let's just jump right into results from that. David Sizemore came away with third place. John Bellino came away with second place. And Montreux took another W, coming away with first place, winning the Blading Cup 2021. Huge congrats to them. In the women's division, Catherine Rice came away with first place. In the veterans division, Randy came away with first place. In the open division, Laura got first place. And in the 18 and unders division, uh, Mario Pesia Ramos came away with first place. Huge congrats to all of them. I have the full results in the description below that will also be linking to every single person who plays Instagram. Go give them all a follow. They well and truly deserved it. Blading Cup seems absolutely unreal. I really hope to make it one year. Uh, I also really need to invest in getting like a correspondent over there to help me get some legit sources. So I have to like search through random people's Instagram and rely on a random Facebook post from uh, Dylan. Shout out Dylan though. He posted up on Rollerbane Rolling. It's the only way I knew about the results. So that's the results. But a lot of other stuff happens at Blading Cup, including the launch of so many goddamn products. So let's just get right into product news, which is pretty much Blading Cup product news. First up, Nick Lomax got another Pro Aeon, and it's a beautiful gray Aeon 60. It should already be in shops available for purchase, so grab it today. The Aeon is an excellent skate. Nick Lomax says he's been skating it for seven years now, and he hasn't looked back. He didn't think he'd ever find a skate that matches the throne, and he absolutely loves these ones. And then the long-awaited FR Aggressive Boot has been released, and it's a Pro Skate for Anthony Pottier, and it is beautiful. This FR skate is a top selling free skate and everything I've heard about the skate before it was aggressive has told me it's one of the best skates in the world. An aggressive version of it just sounds insanely good. It looks so good here. It can come boot only or with a full potty setup with his pro frame and his pro wheel. This will be a high performance aggressive skate and it's going to be available for pre-order at skate shops on the 1st of November. So get in quick. And then we've got another pro them 99 and this one's for Pat Ryder. And this Solomon colorway, it's looking beautiful, but more importantly, I still can't believe this is a real thing. There is a new V2 sole plate on this 909, featuring a wider sole plate and a whole new backside groove. This is enough for me to be interested in the skate again. But that's not where that stops there. The royalty is now $25 to $30. Pat Ryder can make up to $40,000 US dollars off the skate. The skate, I did see at Oak City Skate Shop, was $500 though, which is pretty crazy. But goddamn, them just keeps raising the bar. All the other skate companies can't keep up, man. This is how royalty should be for pro skaters. Make it happen. And then we've got a new Bladies skate coming. This is a Bladies X Loco or X Razors in a way. Uh, it's a beautiful color. It's like a wine purple with some red highlights, some super quality hockey laces with metal tips. These look really good. They aren't going to be available till March 2022, so I hope you're patient. Best thing about these skates, though, is they are in smaller sizes. So people with small feet out there, you no longer have to wear giant skates. Speaking of razors, there's a new Jeff Howard Pro Shift Boot coming in this beautiful forest green color. Another well-earned pro skate for Jeff Howard. It features some rain liners, a GC Flat 4 frame. Comes flat, but it's actually skatable flat, which I like to see. And apparently the wheels are glow in the dark too. 60 millimeters flat. These look beautiful. No idea when they're coming out. More info coming soon, apparently. And then another one that people aren't really talking about at all, but there's apparently a new Razor Colt with this black and white colorway. Very simple, very safe. That's probably why no one's talking about it. But yeah, there's already no information about this. So <laughs> I couldn't even find a picture. I was just lucky that uh, Jack was in my DM. Shout out to him. And then Icon released their skates at Blading Cup and they feature carbon cuffs which is something I haven't seen anywhere but in speed skating. It looks so dialed in, it looks super elite. These are some very premium looking skates. I wish I was there to actually get some info on them. <laughs> so here we have the Icon AAG 10, I think. I'm not even sure about that. And we have the Icon TF20. That's what it says on the boot, but on the website, it doesn't even exist. I don't know. I'm supposed to be the news guy, but clearly I'm not cut out for this. <laughs> Moving away from the Blading Cup, I spotted a dope new product from Hexascape Hardware or Hexablitz who's permanently on the bad list. And that is a prime frame that is an Aeon soul frame. This isn't finished yet, he's still working on it, but this is a very interesting idea. I'd love to see the final product off. If you can put the Aeon on any skate, I'm sold. Speaking of the Aeons, this is definitely not new news, but it's a company that's been killing it for years that somehow I haven't mentioned. Slick Sliders, they make Sole plates for Aeons that you can screw on, they ship worldwide. This is a must for someone who's sticking to skating Aeons, I would definitely highly recommend them. But they don't just make sliders, they also make anti-rockers and ground wheels. Check out their website, it's linked in the description. Shout out to them, definitely check them out if you ride Aeons. And then you can save the planet, save some bearings, 
and be rolling faster thanks to Sonic Sports Bio Cleaner. It's a plant-based bearing cleaner that can bring your bearings back to life. I couldn't recommend this more. I've been using this product for years. If you use this product, not only do you save the planet by saving bearings from the landfill, but you also support plating. It's a win all around. Definitely check this one out. And then if you're in need of some new blade related clothing, I have you covered with the company called Future Blading Co. It's an Australian based, high quality rollerblading apparel company that is more than just a t-shirt company. All the company profits get put back into blading and their team. They support a bunch of dope skaters and they have so many sick designs. I was even told that John Julio himself bought some. So it has a John Julio stamp of approval. Definitely check out their website. There's some really cool shit there. And finally, I had to mention this because it's the local young gun, the homie here in, in New Zealand. He won a competition to make some blade tees in a New Zealand company. So if you're a New Zealander or anyone else, and you want to help the homie out, help them spread the word of blading, and you like the look of these designs, especially this shirt here, go cop one. Huge shout out to Kane for killing it as always, and for spreading blading more than I ever did at his age. And that's finally it for product news, so let's move on to my favorite part of the show, media you should definitely check out. First up, I have an absolutely insane edit in a dream park with unbelievable tricks. There's not a single trick in this edit that like didn't take like four minutes for my brain to work out what was happening. So many negatives, so much different creative skating. I really, really enjoyed this one. It surprised me. Definitely check that one out. And then if you haven't seen this one yet, you're absolutely mental. It's a new piece from Basement called Zephyr and it is just ridiculous this game. It's got so much new weird little crazy tricks. The Castle Brothers is changing the game. Every time they do this, it's super dope. The new little like stances they do in the grinds, man, I love it. It's making me really, really miss skating ledge, man. <laughs> I shouldn't need to plug them. It's the Castle Brothers. Make sure you check that video out and then go check out the new drop at Basement. There's some really cool stuff there as well. And then Sean Oberg has a full part for 2021 skating TRS skates, I think. I'm probably wrong when I say that. Don't come for me in the comments. This whole entire edit is insane. I don't know how anyone can have so many clips for an edit, man. This is like... Wow, to have this many fight clips in the edit, this is like the gold standard. The thing that really blew my mind, that this is one of the best enders in any section I've seen, probably in the longest time. It's the craziest switch up I've ever seen, dude. It was so dope. I couldn't believe what I've seen. Make sure you stick around to the end and watch it. It's linked in the description. And then for something a little bit different, I have some off-road skating from a young gun. There is one of the sorest looking bales I've ever seen, enough to make me never ever want to try off-road skating. But at the same time, this looks so much fun. There's some really cool air tricks there. This dude absolutely kills it. If you're craving something different, check this one out. You won't regret it. Anthony Pottier doesn't get a pro skate without earning it in every regard. This edit here promoting his new skate is insane. It's super fast. It's just flowy. It's nice. It's got creative skating. But the coolest thing in it is probably this Nada spin he does. Is that what you call it? It's like a kink rail with a Nada spin in the middle down the rail. It's insane. This is an exceptionally good edit that you have to check out. And then go buy those skates. You have the money. Go buy it. Next up, I have a clip that just completely owned the r slash blade new subreddit and it was the perfect entrance this is the dude's first post he's 17 years old it's super dope and while i'm talking about that here's your reminder that if you have anything you want me to put in the show whether it's news related your edit a friend's edit anything blade related post it on the r slash blade new subreddit it's linked in the description i go through it live on twitch once a week and it's so much fun i would love to see you there subscribe for free with amazon prime support me help me go full time but if you're not going to do that the least you can do is like this video if you liked it and subscribe so you can catch the next one huge shout out to my blade news correspondents that is anna christian james palmer matt sonic sports shane and xander as well as the rest of my patrons and members and thank you for watching i'll see you guys later on Don't miss the bonus link this week, it is so relatable.